This is as close as I'm allowed to get as a member of the media to the Rose Bowl Stadium. Even though I have credentials, I'm not allowed inside yet. I'm told the Tournament of Roses sort of likes this big reveal on game day. Rich, rich tradition, yeah. There are no college football teams inside yet, but the outside of the stadium is already attracting spectators. It doesn't lose its thrill, even if you've been here before. It's exciting and look at this beautiful day too. Many people just stop by to snap a photo and take in the bowl's beauty before the big day. Never been to the Rose Bowl. Wow, beautiful place, great setting, and uh, just excited about coming back New Year's Day. While no one is allowed inside the stadium yet, people can get an inside look at a different Rose Bowl tradition. So this year's parade theme is inspiring stories, so all of the floats somehow relate to that. Inside a large white tent across the street, Rose Parade creations are getting their finishing touches for the 126th year, and it's quite the operation. If you haven't seen them up close, they are on massive armatures of welded steel. It's all been hand welded, so her mouth right here was hand bent into her smile. Most floats take a year to build. Some release balloons, others fireworks. Then 400 volunteers cover the thousands of pounds of steel with hundreds of thousands of fresh flowers. The problem with floats is you can uh, you can think, hey, I would like that blue, but if it doesn't grow, you can't have it. So you you have to constantly source your color exactly in ground materials and that ground material has to be available in January. Designers might be limited in color, but not by geography. We try as much as possible to buy things that are local, but the tropicals will come from Hawaii. All of our orchids will come from Thailand, Indonesia. The roses will come from Ecuador. We get deliveries in from around the world. There are many moving parts that go unseen, but all contribute to what makes the Rose Bowl experience such a special ritual. Stay tuned for more stories coming up this week on the stadium itself, its history, what makes it unique, and some things most fans probably don't know about the stadium. Reporting in Pasadena, I'm Jessica Greif with the Oregonian and Oregon Live.